Now, welcome back. If you've ever wondered what it's like to paint like a pro, today is your lucky day. Fine artist Chaz Williams, who of course painted that iconic Springbok painting for the Second Chance Trust, is still here with us this morning to give a short little uh, tutorial. We'll call it a YouTube tutorial on how to paint um, like a fine artist, like the man himself. You, you said you came from abstracts. Yes, absolutely. To, uh, so I would imagine kind of harnessing the, your skills to create a painting like that is amazing. But what got you into painting? Were you always artistic? Because you looked like yeah. you could have gone the rugby route looking at the size <laughs> of those guns, dude. Yeah, well, uh, I, think, I think I was always that guy that could paint. Uh, always, I could always sketch my buddies and that. But it was really in my 20s where I think, as an artist, you can't just be good at creation or, or, or replicating realism. You've got, yeah. to be, you've got to say something, you know, and you've got to say something powerful. And I think when I really felt I had something to say was when my career took off. How do you approach each? Is it the same every time, the process that you go through? Is it a deep emotional turmoil that you have to go through? Is it a release? Is it cathartic? What, what's the paint, painting process like for you? I think that's a good question. Um, and uh, I talk to a lot of young artists, uh, and, I, and I always say to them that once the painting is done, the journey's over, the fun is over, you know? So have fun, get lost, you know? Maybe take a couple steps back to find a different route. And, and, and by the end, you, you should be saturated, you should be done, you should put that piece away, and then in a month's time, bring it out and see, and see and, how it goes. And how do you feel when you go back to work that you've finished? Do you ever want to re- Oh, uh, yeah. Do yeah. you add, change? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, so um, I think- How this, do you let go? <laughs> I think Salvador Dali said a, a, a painting is never really finished, it's just put away. So there we <laughs> I go. I love that. <laughs> So you, you've brought, thank you, an emoji to our studio. Look, and a I'm, happy a, I'm a portrait artist, so there we go. <laughs> thank you. I think it's, it's exactly <laughs> like me. The cheeks are there, the smile is there. <laughs> Look, it's not really a 2020 emoji. I think we could have, you could have done maybe the little poo <laughs> emoji if we, if we were going for 2020, but boy, don't we all need an opportunity to mm. smile. So I'm going to move a little bit closer here. Yeah. I see you okay. brought a range of, of brushes yeah. and, and tools here. Yeah. No, so what are, you, call, what are you going to do? I call these my, uh, my weapons of choice. And okay. what I think would be quite fun is if you get involved. Yeah, um, for sure. Uh, we've got very simple colours. It is an emoji. <laughs> this guy, um, this is a, a, a wide-haired uh, uh, rubber scraper. So, so just grab it there and you can get stuck in. I think the most important thing is don't be scared, you know. Get okay. involved. <laughs> Scrape up some yellow. Uh, uh, there we go. Now, what's nice about this is that's, there is, is that, a bit is that, of that looks like a lot of yellow. No, is that that's right? yeah. We have a lot of yellow. Okay, cool. And then it's it's about putting it down and then just changing the the angle of your handle and and feeling it out. Okay. There we <laughs> there we go. Well, don't laugh, man. There we go. We aren't uh, we aren't. I'll show you. We aren't um, um, plastering a wall. So what we can do is like that, like that. Gee. There we go. You know what I mean? The, you can't make mistakes in abstract art. Oh, so, you check. so there we go. Hey, so that's how. That. That's how. And already head. now, it, lo it looks like my street cred has gone up because it's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's suddenly cool. Well, the, the cool thing about modern art is we can all do it. You know. So, so I love so that. He, he says very humbly. Okay, I love that. What's next? Okay, here we have. So this is a palette knife. Okay? okay. You don't get palette forks. Here's a palette knife. Okay. Now <laughs> scrape up some more yellow and maybe bring in some orange there. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, now like, that is yeah, the wrong way around. So I'll show you, okay? okay? So we scrape it this way. We can get some orange in there. And when you apply, you apply to the side. You don't apply it forward. Okay, let me give it a... Give it a whirl there. There we go, it's a, a young Picasso here. Oh, like that. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna give there it we go. just a little bit more because... It's, okay. um, yeah, I call this sort of paint delicious because it does look Whoa. delish. And it's going to have like there a texture. Go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we'll give him a, oh, we'll give him one more there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love okay. it. So now we get on to um, the real fun stuff, which is the brushes. Now, this is a medium handle flathead brush. And it's a very geometric type of brush. Okay. Um, I think a lot, a lot of young people uh, they don't know the difference between brush heads, and, and I think they almost contradict the, the techniques. So, yeah, again, get stuck into some color, or you have so much color on you, you can actually just move it Start around. Start playing around. And how you do, I like to hold it here, and it's geometric, it's hard, and, and it's quite coarse. Okay. 
get stuck in there. Okay, with these last 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, it feels, there we go. It feels very satisfying. I'm it is fine. very satisfying. It's, very, it's like um, icing a cake. Hey, it's pointing to the smile. <laughs> I love it. Okay, very quickly, show us the last, last... Okay, hey, so, oh, so, good, so um, uh, lastly, we've got our little guy, and this is like my little head and dagger, and it comes in right at the end, and it's just that I use it for highlights, just a little bit of uh, white, and we just pick up some highlights there. Oh, as you do the highlights on our, on our amazing piece of work, I'm going to say thank you for sharing your inspiration. He's strange, but we love him because he fits right in, <laughs> in the studio. Um, that's awesome. That's empowering. I can understand why you love the tools of the trade so much. We hope that you enjoyed creating a little bit with us, and hopefully you can show us some masterpieces. Maybe you want to capture, try to at least capture that moment, that moment of elation when we won the Web Ellis Cup. You can do it. But I'm going to say after that short lesson in painting with fight artist uh, Chaz Williams, I, I need a little bit of, um, I think, feel-good inspiration in the kitchen. So you want to stick around, we're going to be whipping up something special in just a moment.